And now, a word of faith from Bishop Barra. The word of faith today I have here my friend Bishop Andrew. And Bishop Andrew, we have seen people from problems to problems. A person is sick, go to see a doctor, he prescribes a medication, next visit, next appointment, another disease, another problem. Yeah, it seems that the more people look for solutions, the more they find problems. Sometimes a person has just finished dealing with one situation just to hear from the doctor, well, you need to come back for another visit. I will need to check on something because something appeared here. That's why we cannot deal with the problems. We are not problems dealers. We do not deal with the problems. We do not cope with the problems. And in some cases, uh, a person hears somebody else say, now you have to learn how to live with this problem. We do not need, we shall not learn how to live with the problems. We have to overcome it. In fact, if you have to learn something, learn how to overcome this problem that you have. What is the point to learn how to live with your suffering? I don't want to waste my time learning how to suffer. If I have to waste my time, if you have to apply your time, apply your time in learning how to overcome this problem. This is what we teach people here in the showdown of faith. One problem leads you to another problem. But here, one problem leads you to another problem. Yes, that's uh, you are fired, oppressed, fight, uh, helpless. However, a solution, when the hand of God takes you from the bottle, he brings you up to a level where you have never, ever been. That was the situation of Job. He lost everything. What did he lose? Health, family, uh, love life, his marriage. His possessions. His possessions. He lost everything. And even his faith. He lost his faith because he was complaining about everything. But one day, he stopped complaining and he prayed to God. He prayed. What did God do? The Lord answered him, as we can read together right now. Read it for yourself. It is so great. Very great. He blessed Job. God blessed him twice as more than what they, he had lost. Yeah, I can say that God saves the best for last. Maybe you've only known problems in your life. But the God who blessed the later days of Job, he will also bless yours. This is what he wants. Right to now we are going to pray. I want you to pray together with us. Can you get the water for me, please? If you have water at home, I want you to get a glass of water. If you have already received the water, let us pray together. We are going to put our hands together. Yes. You are going to be united with us, the bishops here. Whether you are in prison, you are in jail, wherever you may be, whether you believe or not, we are going to pray. A solution will bring others' solution to you. In this manner, therefore pray, our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Please, close your eyes. It is now the moment of prayer. My Lord, we unite our faith in this moment, for the restoration of the life of this person. Her life is in shambles, going down day by day. I know, my Lord, this person is sick and tired of words, promises, blah, blah, blah. Lord, she cannot take it anymore. She has been trying, my God. But her life is a picture of shame. God, we pray together, hear our prayers. Yes, my Lord, and I pray especially for those who were mentioned today in this show, 
those who wrote to us an email, those who have written us letters, those whose names are now in the oil, and those whom we could not mention their names, but they called our helpline. We are now, my Father, asking you to deliver these people and to bring answers, restore completely the lives of all the viewers of this program. A spirit of God, we believe you are listening to us. Yes, from the ashes, from dust, you are restoring the lives of these people. God, when they drink of this water at home, in the hospital, in prison, my Lord, as you did for Job, do for this person. Give my father more than what she lost. Because now you restore the marriage, the family, the finances, the life as a whole. Jesus, we bless all the viewers of the showdown of faith. We bless this company, BET, Viacom, their staff, the CEO, from the boss to the least and the last employee. Bless these companies, all the inmates. I bless the soldiers, this man, woman that is far from home for over a year. I bless the soldiers, the teachers, the lawyers, the officers, and those who are unemployed. Bless their lives today. I consecrate this water to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Amen. Be blessed in the name of Jesus Christ. You are blessed. Wherever you may be, receive your blessing right now. This water is God's power. When you drink, you receive His power. Because right now, God makes a way for you. God will make a way Where there seems to be no way He works in ways we cannot see Amen. Believe in the Lord Jesus have washed away all diseases, all infirmities, all pain, all sorrows. He forgave you from all your sins. Do not judge yourself. Do not criticize yourself. The Lord has forgiven you. You are forgiven. You can now move ahead in life. Do not keep accusing yourself. He has given you a new chance. 